commander out of commission, so please leave a message after the beep. Joanna, it's Mom. Good, you're not there. I just wanted to make sure you're not going to be late again. She was probably a drill sergeant in a former life. Yeah, well, she's a control freak in this one. Later. I suppose you'll be slaving away as usual all weekend? Yeah, well, some of us have to work for a living. Yeah, well, you'll never make any friends because you're never around, Joanna. Well, my mom needs me. <sighs> Bye. You live a charm life. How was your week? Good. Sorry, I should have called. That's okay. I tell myself no news is good news. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Mom, I'm fine. Would you relieve Felix? He's got to take his mother to the doctor. Joanna. Joanna, don't slouch, honey. Have confidence in yourself. Hi, can I help you? Two baguettes, please. It's very cool. Movie stars hang there. We can rent an entire house for like 200 each for the whole weekend. Wow, I mean, that's not bad. But that doesn't include lift tickets or entertainment and stuff. I'm in. What about you, Joanna? Uh, thanks, Jody, but it's, uh, it's kind of steep for me. Besides, I gotta work. Oh, sorry. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> Check this. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, Paradise Escort is looking for beautiful, intelligent, exciting young ladies to enjoy the good life. Excellent income, flexible schedule, newcomers welcome. I've Ooh. always wondered what it would be like to be a call girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, will anyone know the difference between a call girl and a hooker? Oh, call girl is cellular, a hooker is mobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're both hookers. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, um, you guys, I, I have a chem final in the morning, so... Why don't you go study in the library? Yeah, I just left there, but they closed at 10 o'clock. Lighten up, Joanna. A machine. At the sound of the tone, please leave your message. <clears throat> um, hi. This is Joanna, and I'm all you need and more. Call 555 <laughs> Guys, that's not funny. What is the problem with your roommate, Amanda? <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Got another copy? Oh, sorry. Anything good? Uh, botany. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, yeah. Um for the faculty brunch. We're into sugar. Helps put them in the right headspace to tackle the student body. <laughs> Your faculty? Oh, no, no, I'm a, I'm a TA. Hey, aren't you in a Ives Lit class? Yeah. And me too. I'm Jack Collins. I'm Joanna Halbert. Hi. <laughs> so, can I pick him up tomorrow? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Bye. Tomorrow? We need three days for an order like this. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have anything to do with how cute that guy was. Was he? <laughs> oh, Mom, don't forget about parents to on Sunday. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. There's no way I can go. The Bennett wedding is that night. The cake is so elaborate, it's going to take me all afternoon to decorate it. Oh, this is important. <laughs> so is this. It pays our bills. If you were doing badly in school, it'd be one thing. But... So what, if I was a scrub, you'd go? No, that's not what I meant. Get it. Joanna! <sighs> oh. 
Hi. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Hello? Joanna? Yeah? Kimberly at Paradise Escorts. You left a message? Hello? Is anybody there? Yeah, um... Look, my uh, roommate's friends were just goofing on me. <laughs> we should trade stories sometime. People put me through hell when I was in school. Listen, as long as I've got you on the phone, you should, um... Stop on by the beach house. We're gonna have a little party. Play some volleyball, drink my world-famous Bloody Marys. We're at 422-10 PCH. Um, you know, I really, I have a lot of homework to do. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. And I promise, no one will goof on you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Must be Joanna. Yeah. I'm Kimberly. We spoke on the phone. Hey, come on in. I'm glad you could make it. We're all out back on the beach. <laughs> Robert, Stephanie, I'd like you to meet Joanna. Hello. Stephanie goes to Winton University. She's working on her MBA. Oh, I go there too. You have to excuse us. We're meeting friends in Tahoe for dinner. We've got a plane to catch. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, I, um, can't stay long, but thanks anyway. Okay. Hope we're not interrupting anything too important. Not if you uh, introduce me to your friend, Ron Sample. Joanna Halbert, hi. This is Ron's house. Really? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. Thanks for coming. I'd like to share it with friends. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey. Hey, Andy. Hey. Andy likes to meet Joanna. Joanna, this is Andy. He's fresh in from New York. How do you do? Hi. Probably already knew that from the bloodshot eyes. <laughs> <laughs> See, you always diss me whenever beautiful women are around. Do you want as a student at Winton? Uh, really? What's your major? Uh, Pre-med. Very free. Well, stick with it. We need more women doctors. Thanks, I will. Uh, you're empty-handed. Let me get you something to eat and drink, all right? <laughs> I'm going to go change my clothes. And uh, I'll see you later. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> Wait! 
You know, I envy you. Me? Yeah. You have a passion. Medicine. I floundered. I'm sorry? That's what my dad called it. I could never figure out what I wanted. I went from pre-law to art history to drama. Finally wound up in uh, business. <laughs> well, you'd think they'd be glad you were getting a Harvard education. Uh, sometimes it's hard to please parents. Yeah, tell me about it. How about yours? Me? Uh, well, my dad died when I was eight. And my mom was a famous, well, she was famous for a cello. Terry Halbert. <laughs> oh. Kimberly is so pretty. I mean, she just carries herself so well, you know? You could be just like her. Oh. Oh, really? You have a great presence. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, like your boyfriends haven't told you that a million times. Oh, no, I don't have a boyfriend. Get out of here. Well, I'm kind of busy with school, and I work at my mom's bakery. You get along okay with your mother? It's, uh, it's complicated with me and my mom. Every relationship worth keeping is going to be complicated. That's why I started Paradise Escorts, you know? I just battle with games. Hey. Hi. Hi. Andy wants to know if you're free for dinner. Me? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I gotta get back. Uh, you're not gonna get anything done because you're gonna be asking yourself over and over what would have happened if I had gone out with Andy. So why do something you're doomed to regret? That's right. right. <laughs> I see you made your persuasive speech too. Yes, the final. Come on, there's something unnatural about a beautiful girl sitting buried behind a book at Absolutely. night. <laughs> Come on. Come on, go on, have a great time. I just wish I'd asked her first. <laughs> I, I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> Come on. You live here? Oh, Ron and I are just friends. He happens to be extremely generous. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All these are yours? For tonight, they're yours, too. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes, straight out of rehab. <laughs> you don't even live here, and you don't have the people in the restaurant. Well, show business is like that. There's only a handful of restaurants in this town, and everyone seems to commute back and forth between them. So, uh, so what does a manager do, anyway? Well, I'd much rather talk about you. Me? Why? <laughs> I'm, uh, just a boring college student who's never been out of the state and uh, lives in a town called Tarzana. Wow, how refreshing. Had a great time. Yeah, me too. But unfortunately, uh, my car is waiting. Got to catch the red eye back to New York. Joanna. 
quite a woman. I have no place to wear it. In fact, I don't even have a place to put it. It's here anytime you want it. Hey, Joanna. Come on in. Did you have a good time? Yeah, but... What, just good, or...? <sighs> Fantastic. But I, I don't expect to get paid for it. I mean, there's $400 in here. You had a good time, he had a good time. Everybody's happy. I can't take money for it. Why? You only did what your girlfriends do for free. Well, I, I don't exactly see it that way. I just did it for fun. That's the best reason. You know, why not get paid for it, too? You know, some girls make a thousand dollars in one night. You don't know me anything. Please. You'll hurt my feelings if you don't take it. And Andy's. Thank you. I like you, Joanna. You're very special. Now, I'm strictly gut instinct. But I feel something with you. Like we're kindred spirits or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forgive me. Sometimes I wax sentimental. Look, anyway, the door's open. If you ever want to come back, okay? That's it? I mean, it would always be like tonight. That's it. Do I have to have sex with them? It's your call. Just like any other date. <laughs> well, let me think about it. No long-term commitments, no strings. It's your call. You want to go see that new Brad Pitt movie tonight? Oh, well, sorry, I can't. I'm busy. But um, I'll catch you later, okay? Okay. Hey. Hi. How'd you do? A minus. <gasps> Way to go. So, how'd it go last night with Dr. Lesser? Well, he was a perfect gentleman. <laughs> we had a great dinner. We saw a play. And I was home early enough to work on my midterm. <laughs> A pager, so you can keep in touch. Now let's go spend some of Ron's money, shall we? To Joanna, an old fan, and a new friend. Thank you. Thanks. Acted like such a geek. He liked you, Jojo. <laughs> My mom used to call me that. I like it. <laughs> everyone keeps ragging on me to do something with myself, and then I do something with myself, and everyone says, Joanna, what'd you do to yourself? I'm not saying you look bad. I mean, you look great. It's just, you know, you don't look like 
You. That's all. Well, good. <laughs> so, we have arrived at a point in the journey of Nora Helmer where the slam of the door symbolizes what? Anyone? Miss Halbert. Miss Halbert? Yes. You have read A Doll's House? Yes. And can you tell us all, please, what the slam of the door symbolizes? Um, it, uh, it symbolizes the beginning of Nora's new life and the dawning of a new age of independence for women. Exactly. So we have the characters of Nora. We pass immature, somewhat ignorant, childish, the doll with a father and a husband who injured her practical education. Now she would rather sacrifice her life than have her husband suffer for her crime. And she's learned to overtly challenge her environment. And she's gained enough wisdom to confront an emergency. The faculty loved your cakes. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I don't bake them or anything. My, uh... My mom does all the baking and decorating. I just box them. Well, they were, uh, they were boxed beautifully. Oh, thank you. Your <laughs> <laughs> hair looks really nice. That's not a line. I'm, I'm not the line type. Not that I wouldn't like to be sometimes. Oh, why? Oh, I look at other guys and things seem to come so easy for them. I have to try hard. Yeah, me too. <laughs> So, uh, what do you want to do after you graduate? I want to be an attorney. I'm just waiting to see how I did on my LSAT scores. Yeah? And, uh, where do you want to go to law school? NYU or Columbia. Always had this thing for New York. Thing? <laughs> what kind of thing? <laughs> well, it's, it's my idea of what a city should be, you know? Um, raw and gritty. Noisy and unpredictable. Romantic. <laughs> Am I making any sense? Yeah. So how about you? I mean, where are you planning on going from at school? Well, uh, I'm going to stay here. I can't really afford to go away. I know every conceivable funding source. That's how I'm going to swing law school. I'll turn you on to him. Yeah, well, there's, uh, there's a problem with my mom. I can't really leave. She's kind of dependent on me. Yeah, I know what that's like. buy your mom a present? You didn't pluck out of school or something, did you? Mom. Teasing. I'm teasing. Oh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, very Isadora Duncan-like. Oh, funny. It's gorgeous. Oh, it must have cost a fortune. Oh, it's very sweet, Adriana, but, but what? You have to be more responsible with your money. You can't go around buying frivolous gifts for people. Why do you have to make this into something negative? Can't you just accept it and say thank you? I'm trying to give you the benefit of my experience, sweetie. Life doesn't always turn out the way you plan. Yeah, but like my husband might die and I'll have to raise my kid by myself. Don't worry, Mom. I'll never be like you. Joanna! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Any more like you at home? Mm, it's quite a dress, huh? Mm. <laughs> it's the woman that's making the dress. Oh, I know, it's great. I look in the mirror and I can't believe it's me. Are you really the same girl I met three weeks ago? <laughs> that geek? Ah, oh, she's history. <laughs> well, I better get going. I mean, I wouldn't want to be late to Darren Bronson, I don't to be with you tonight. 
feels like I'm falling for you. She may be the FBI's best life. Hey. Got any chapstick? Santa Anna's turning you into an alligator. Uh, yeah, in my backpack. I thought you were broke. What? Sorry, couldn't miss it. Oh, it's, uh, it's my mom's. I have to deposit it for her. Oh, well, don't keep it here. You get ripped off. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, so where, uh, where'd everybody go? Gone. Thank God. Oh, well, uh, I better get going, too. Thank you. Uh, where are you Sorry. going? My car. My car's waiting outside. Ah, uh, your car will wait all night. Jason, come on. Don't worry. The office took my credit card. Look, I, I just came for the party. Oh, you want something under the table? Huh? I'll get some more cash. How much? Another hundred? No, no, Two? no, no. It's not about money. Everything's about money. Look, I get paid to smile, act charming, and look good. And that's it. That was a lovely party. Thank you, and good night. I don't think you heard me. I paid 500 bucks for you. Then you'll get a refund. Ron, what the hell is going on? He wasn't angry. He was hurt. I wasn't attracted to him. Well, he was very attracted to you. Now get into that. It's a turn on knowing how desirable you are to another person. You told me I didn't have to sleep with someone unless I wanted to. And you don't. So then what's the problem? The problem is that you blew it. You didn't handle the situation. You turned him on, Joanna. That is the worst thing you can do to a guy is turn him on and then turn him down. No, no, no. I did not lead him on. But Joanna, look at yourself. Look how sexy you are. Do you know how much power you have over a man? Please, Ron, don't do this. Do what? Make me feel like I did something wrong by not sleeping with him. I told you up front I would never make you do something you didn't want to do. And I'm a man of my word. But I'm going to have to let you go, Joanna. As much as it hurts me, and believe me, it hurts me. You know how I feel about you. I don't just invite anybody into my life. class in the morning. You're afraid? Maybe I am. Of one of the most prominent lawyers in this town, in this state? Here. You want to take this for protection? Go ahead. It's okay. I have another one in the briefcase. What's going on? Well, Joanna walked out on Jason. She's moving on. She doesn't want to be a part of us anymore. Oh, Joanna, no. The gun, Ron. I only have it because I keep a lot of cash in the house. I would never do anything to hurt you. 
You know that, Joanna. Come here. Come on. for yourself. You're letting society dictate what's right and wrong. Sex is something to be enjoyed, not feared. Is this really all so hard to take? Yeah. Oh, God. Next time, just do what I do. Substitute Brad Pitt. <laughs> Works for me. The truth. You deserve the best, Joanna. You know what? I am going to make sure that you get it. On the verge of tears all day. Yeah, I'm fine. Backdoor bakery. Oh yes, uh, hold on a moment, please. It's him. Hello. Hey, Jack. Oh, um, actually, I'm busy later, but, um, I could meet you at the playground across the street from the bakery, like six. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bye. He sounds nice. Have you known him long? No. Well, he really wanted to see you. He kept calling. Why can't you see him later tonight? I just got stuff going on, Mom. Another guy on the side? <laughs> yeah, right. A 
did it. Look at this, top three percentile. Oh, congratulations. This is too good to be true. I mean, I figured I did okay, but this? Oh, you'll get into NYU or Columbia for sure now. Oh, I still gotta get a scholarship. You will. Well, you seem pretty confident. You seem like a guy who knows what he wants and how to get it. Well, I'm persistent, that's for sure. It's the pit bull. <laughs> pit bull? Really? You remind me more of a cockroach spaniel. Ah. <laughs> All the sort of details of your life. Uh, First, why are you attached? Uh, well, my mom says I'm too picky. I mean, I've gone out with different guys, so it just never really clicked, you know? Yeah, it's easy to find somebody you're attracted to, but to really find somebody you can talk to is a whole different thing altogether. I always thought it was my fault, like there's something the matter with me. <laughs> Trust me, Joanna, there's absolutely nothing the matter with you. How's that? Oh, <laughs> my mom. I, uh, I gotta get back to the store. Look, on a Saturday night? Yeah, um, I told you she's a little obsessive. Uh, well, look, I'll walk you back. Uh, that's okay, it's right across the street, but thanks. I'll see you at school. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Oh, it was great. Really oh. fantastic. Oh, we, we didn't, um... Yes, oh. yes, sure we did. Oh, man. We did? Yeah. You were awesome. All right. Uh. Joanna? Joanna? Dr. Ives. I hardly recognized you. Well, you look uh, pretty out of character yourself, Professor. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Wedding, second floor. Well, that's where I was. I didn't see you. It's big. It's not that big. You're right, I, uh, I guess you didn't recognize me. Well, I gotta run, my, uh, my date's gonna get a ticket. Um, have fun, bye. <laughs> Hey. Huh? Something going on? No. Why? Hmm. You seem different. Quiet. I'm always quiet. Yeah, well, quieter. Not that you're around much. You go out just about every night. You and Jack must be getting pretty serious. Yeah, I feel good with him. Ooh, actually, I, uh, I gotta get going. I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. In such a short time, I grew to depend upon right. you. Like fresh baked bread. Oh. No, 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 that's, that's good. That's good. Fresh and sweet and warm. <laughs> what, like a croissant? <laughs> Donut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it could always be like this. You can be. Yeah, you know, I read that um stuff you gave me. I just I can't go away to school. I'm staying here. What? There's lots of good law schools in Southern California. Why? What's the point of going anywhere? I mean, you're here. No, Jack, you have to go to New York. <laughs> what, you wanna get rid of me? Yeah, no. I just, I don't want you to give up your dream because of me. Look, I'm not giving anything up. I'm getting something better in return. I'm just scared. I don't want to disappoint you. Wow. Building up big expectations I scared you away Maybe they made you afraid of falling in love If it really is about... Can we go?
Kimberly. Hmm? Do you ever feel dirty? <laughs> no, and neither should you. Don't get hung up in other people's morality, Jojo. It's not other people. It just doesn't feel right to me. Well, it's because you're looking at this all wrong. You are making a lot of money, and that money's going to pay for medical school. All you have to do is look gorgeous and have a great time. And what if I'm not having a great time? But you look at the men you're going with. Most girls would kill for their attention. I know. But maybe I want a sweet, ordinary guy. It only works in the movies, Jojo. In real life, you take as much as you can get. Where are these? He likes them. Wouldn't know. Marla from Metallica! Stand over there, please. Not there. Here. Now, don't tell me <laughs> you're shy. Ron said you like to have a good time. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to touch you. I just want to watch you. I'll play. You'll strip. On the first note, Joanna. Not yet. Now. How was the maestro? Hmm? Okay. Something's wrong? I've got to go. Come on, Joanna. Talk to me. Look, I... I just don't think I'm cut out for this. Come on. You were born for it. The guys are wild about you, and I know why. I need to take a break. You know, the union requires 90 days before you get a vacation, so... Tell you what, I'll get Kimberly to take you for a mud bath. You'll love that. Thank you, but... <sighs> it's the boyfriend, isn't it? Oh, don't look so surprised. I can read you like a book. 
So, what do we do about, um, what's his name anyway? Jack. Jack. But it's, it's not just because of him. Look, Ron, you have been really great to me. And I have learned so much about myself. I mean, I'm definitely not the same girl I was when I started. But I'm ready now to make some changes. You are fine, just the way you are. The only thing you need to do right now is get rid of that boyfriend. <sighs> and it's not a suggestion, that's an order. Why haven't you returned my phone calls? Look, I have a lot going on, okay? Don't brush me off. Well, don't make this into something personal. What's with you? What's with you? I'm sorry. Can we go someplace and talk? I can't. I have to go somewhere. You don't have 15 minutes? No. No, I don't. Look, Jack, I need you to back off a little bit. I need you to give me some space, okay? Joanna. I'm sorry. I'm trying to wait. I'll handle this. I can handle anything but lies. Jack! You followed me. Damn straight. Look, I was worried about you. Jack, you have to get out of here. You want to date other guys? Just tell me. No, that's not it. Look, not now, not here. Look, I don't like being jerked around. I thought we were going together. We'll talk about this later. No, that's not good enough. Jack, please go. I don't want to lose you, Joanna. Just go, okay? Let's go. What are you talking about? My heart's just not in it. I want to quit. I don't give a damn about your heart, just this body and what it can do for me. And you said I didn't have to do anything that I didn't want to do. Are you calling me a liar? Listen, I made you. Don't forget that. You were nothing before I found you. You were a scared little bookworm, a big fat zero. I gave you a life. Now, if you pull any more of that crap, and I swear I will ruin your life. And mommy's, and the boyfriend, what's his name, Jack? Now, are you going to behave?
You were no show last night, Joanna. Now you promised you were going to be a good girl. Please don't do this here. Hi, I'm Mrs. Halbert. Joanna's told me so much about you. I'm sorry, you are... Ron Tamblin. Joanna's never mentioned me? No, I don't think so. I'm an old professor of hers. Really? Yeah, we became great friends. Now, I understand that you're a celebrated cellist. <laughs> well, so, Ron, what is it that you need? Uh, a couple of cakes for about 20 people. What kind of cakes? Joanna can decide. She knows what I like. Oh, look at the time. I'm really running late. Uh, you'll deliver them? Of course you will. Great. Okay, I need my eight. Okay, now, let me write down the address. Okay, it was nice to meet you. Sure. Hope to see you again. Sure. Take the limo. You better make sure the client's happy. See what happens when you don't behave? You get the cut rate program. Go fix yourself, you look like hell. We need to talk. Well, we'd like some privacy. You can't scare me, I'm saying what I want to say. Scare you? Why would I want to do that? We have an understanding, don't we? I'm going to tell my mother everything. And if you try to hurt her, or Jack, or any of us, I will go to the police. And I don't want to. But I don't want to live my life in fear, either. All I want is for you to let me go. Please, Ron. Look, you and I, we can still be friends. Friends, catch a movie, have a decaf espresso, that kind of thing. I don't want to hurt you. So I let you go, and you do what for me? I don't know. Repay you the money for all the clothes and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about you, Joanna. In spite of everything, you still have this touch of innocence. Mm, that's what turns a guy on. 
That's why you've been so good for business. I want to show you my appreciation. That's not necessary. Come on, Joanna. That's what this is about. Mm -mm. Oh, Joanna, you know you want no. this. No, please. I want your bare ass please. on that couch now. No, no, please. Okay, that's it. I'm done playing games. Whatever you want, please. Please, just put the gun away. That's it. That's better. I like it when you're a big girl. Okay. Yeah. You can have me. <laughs> I told you before, I kept another one in the briefcase. That's the one that's loaded. Look, I won't tell anyone anything. I'm not going to get you in any trouble. Get that gun! No! I said... How did you know the victim's name? I saw her obituary on my computer the morning before she died, and I tried to tell her... People are dropping like flies around you. Where are you? Hi, what's up? Joanna? <laughs> Joanna, are you all right? Stay away from me, Jack. Stay as far away from me as you can get. Maybe you overreacted the other night. Let's go someplace and talk about it. You don't understand. Joanna Halbert. I'm Detective Rogers, Los Angeles Police Department. This is Detective Martell. Do you know Ron Tamblin? Yes. You know he's been shot? No, no, I didn't. I have to ask you to come with us. What's going on? I don't know. Look, I'm going with you. Look, kid, don't make any trouble. Do you know her? Uh, I've been shot. Your address, sir? In the head. I'm bleeding badly. I'm dying. I'm getting weak. I can't sleep. Can you tell me who shot you, sir? Joanna, Joanna Halbert. You know this person? Yeah. Yes, I know her. I wasn't there. I don't know why he would say that. I didn't kill him. We know. He's alive. Joanna Halbert, I'm placing you under arrest for attempted homicide and assault in the first degree. Is there anybody you want to call, Joanna?
Are you okay? They said... They said... I didn't try to kill him, Mom. That it's all a lie. The rest of it, too. And it was going on right under my nose. The man they say you shot, he was uh, your... your pimp. Oh my God, Joanna. How did this happen to us? I'm sorry, Mom. But your father isn't alive to see this. Your bail is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. We're gonna need a very good lawyer. Decent people are often accused of committing indecent acts. I mean, you, you try and set an example. You work hard. Lead an honest life, but something happens. Maybe I was too harsh, too demanding to compensate, you know? It's a crapshoot, Terry. You give them lots of love, and then you send them into the world. What happens from there is anybody's guess. My daughter says she didn't do it, that she wasn't even there that night. Do you believe her? Yes. Unless somebody can prove otherwise. We better get busy. We got a work cut out for us. Can you get me out of here? Maybe today. Tomorrow for sure. I've got to get your bail reduced. Thanks, Mr. Pinder. Don't age me. Call me Henry. Let me explain how I work, Joanna. You and I are a team. We speak the absolute truth to each other, regardless of the consequences. Don't ever tell me what you think I want to hear or what you think your mother wants to hear. I'm only interested in the cold, hard facts. Agreed? Agreed. Did you shoot Rotama? Any idea why he'd name you, of all people, as his assailant? I don't know. He must have had it in for me. What are you afraid of, Joanna? Nothing. We have a deal, don't we? I want the truth. And I wasn't there. Then it's quite simple. We enter a plea of innocent. That's right. I'm innocent. The character of Ronald Tamper is immaterial. The law gives every citizen the right to be free from physical Mr. assault. Did Joanna Halbert's record as an honor student have any bearing? Not in the least. Assistant DA Vivian Stone called the attack by Joanna Halpert vicious and premeditated. Thanks for getting me out. That's what I'm paid for. I suppose everybody knows. The press is all over the story. It's not going to be easy, Joanna. I'm 
coming home. Come here. I want to talk to you. Joanna, I... I am trying to make sense out of all of this. I don't know if I can explain it. Try, please. Ron made me feel good about myself. How? He made me feel beautiful. But I think you're beautiful. It's not the same. Because he's a man? Because it made me feel special. Honey, I have always done everything to show you how much I love you, how special I think you are. You did, Mom. But I needed something more. And I don't know why. I just... I felt really empty. And I'm not blaming you. You did everything right. It's me. I did everything wrong. I want to understand. <laughs> Jack. Can you see if you're okay? I put together a list of defense lawyers. The best guys at a firm I clerked at last summer. I Put in a call to him. I got a lawyer. Thanks. Well, maybe let me do his research or something. Yeah, that'll really help you get into law school, linking up with me. Look, let me worry about that. And for God's sakes, Juno, why didn't you talk to me? You tell me you were in trouble. Maybe I could have helped. Because I, because I care about you. That's why. I have a funny way of showing it. If you and I are going to make this work, you're going to have to show me the whole picture, Joanna. Not just the part of you you think I want to see. I was afraid you wouldn't want me. Put a little faith in me. I mean, even if everything the press says is true, I'll still be here. Why? Because I know the real Joanna. I happen to love her. Juries take the words of a dying man as gospel. If Ron believed he was dying, why would he lie? If you weren't there, then how do you explain the police finding your fingerprints all over his office and your scarf on the chair? I didn't, I didn't say I'd never been there. I said I wasn't there that night. Let's roll the tape back. You started off for Ron's house, but then changed your mind. Yes, I chickened out. I was scared of what Ron might do if I told him I wanted to quit. Where did you go instead? She already told you, to the door. Not directly, not according to her roommate. <sighs> Whose side are you on, Henry? Your daughter's. And lucky for her because the prosecution is going to have her for breakfast. You went up to Ron's house and things got out of control. No, how many times do I have to tell you? No, she said she wasn't there that night, Henry. Your daughter's lying, Terry. Sit here and let you badger her. Stop it! Please. He's right. I did. I, I went up to Ron. And he had a gun. He tried to rape me. Oh, my God. I begged him to let me go, but he wouldn't. And then... When he set the gun down, I grabbed it. I just wanted to scare him with it, but he had this other gun, the one that he always kept in his briefcase. And he, he was going to kill me. So, so I shot him. I shot him. I did it. 
New on Lifetime. I don't want to hear this evening referred to as the loser's luau. Finally, this dating service gives clients the royal treatment. Losers don't know they're losers. They think they're winners. Critics are calling Lifetime's new show a... May I address the courts, Your Honor? You may. We wish to change our plea. My client, Ms. Halbert, would like to enter a not guilty plea by reason of self-defense. What about the people, Ms. Stone? Does it need additional time? No, Your Honor. We are ready to proceed. Very well. Call your first witness. The people call Ronald Martin Tamblin. Would you tell us precisely what you do for a living, Mr. Tamblin? I'm in business. I have an MBA from Harvard. What kind of business do you operate? Well, I have several, actually. I own a family restaurant in Florida, an escort business right here in town, uh, a fragrance shop in Santa Monica. You're a self-made businessman? Very much so. My parents weren't in a position to help me, and I wouldn't have expected them to. Are you a family man yourself? <laughs> no, I wish I was. But I can't have any children. How do you know Joanna Halbert? She worked for me at my escort service. Would you describe what you mean by escort service, please? Certainly. A businessman comes into town. He doesn't know a soul. He wants somebody to have dinner with. We arrange for an interesting and intelligent female companion. And how long did Joanna Halbert work for you? Six months. Would you please tell the jury what happened the last time you saw Joanna Halbert? I called Joanna into my office and I said I had to let her go. I didn't want to. I liked her. But she had been acting strange, erratic. When I told her, she became hysterical. I begged her to get help, treatment, but that only enraged her more. So she reached into her purse, she pulled out a gun, aimed it, and fired. How many times? Twice. Where were you struck? On the back of the head. One of the bullets is still lodged there. I thought she was a decent kid. I thought we were friends. They're all lies. The jury is buying every single one of them. You let me worry about the jury. You do what you have to do. I will. They may not believe the truth. They're damn well gonna hear it. Isn't escort just a fancy name for prostitute, Mr. Tim? Are you asking me to define the word? I'm asking your understanding of the word escort. Is it or is it not used to mean prostitute? Not in my opinion, it's not. My business is legitimate. Oh, then you pay rent and occupancy taxes. Do I have to answer that? Yes. No. What about your employees? Did you file withholding statements for them? I don't remember. Did you file personal tax returns? My accountant handles that. You have to sign your returns. Did you sign and file personal income tax? No. So? You're guilty of tax evasion, are you not? I told you, my accountant handles that. I'll have to consult with him. This, uh, this family restaurant you mentioned in Florida, isn't it, in fact, a triple X strip joint? It's a legitimate licensed business. Tell me, please. Who is Ronald Massey and Fred Tamblin and Jack Martin? Their names I use for business. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Unless you're doing it to avoid paying taxes. Is that why you do it, Mr. Tamblin? Hmm? To avoid paying taxes? No, that's not why. Do you go by any other names? Sometimes it's necessary to divert people from snooping around. Anybody can get information on you. Are you saying the escort business is shady? Yeah, well... What is this? Am I on trial? Please answer the question. It can be. And can involve unsavory characters at times.
I guess so. The night the defendant appeared at your door, what was your state of mind? I felt sad. I had to fire her and I was sorry about it. Did you threaten her? She threatened me. That wasn't my question. I didn't threaten her. On the night in question, did you brandish a 32 caliber at Joanna Halbert in an attempt to rape her? Absolutely not. Look, smear me all you want, Mr. Bender. Hey, no matter what any of you think about me, I am the victim here. I'm the one who has to live with a bullet in his head. I'm the one who was shot point blank in cold blood. Raise your right hand, please. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Miss Helbert. What was your relationship to Ronald Tamlin? He, uh... He was my, my pimp. Sorry, I've never called him that before. Why? Lying to myself, I guess. You've been telling a lot of lies lately, haven't you, Joanna? Yes. You lied to the police, didn't you? Yes. You lied to me. Yes. Even to your own mother. Isn't that right? Yes. Why should we believe you now? I don't know. Maybe because I have nothing left to lose. I've hurt and humiliated my mother. Jeopardized my future. And disgraced the memory of my father. What were your feelings about Ron? Well, uh, I was pretty knocked out by him at first. I mean, he was good looking, smart, sophisticated. A guy like that had never given me the time of day before. Did you enjoy being a prostitute? I, I didn't think of it that way. I was an escort. <laughs> It seemed very glamorous, like it did in the movies. I wore gorgeous clothes, went to fancy restaurants and parties. And I belonged. And Ron always said that I got paid to do exactly what my girlfriends all did for free. And it made sense. But Ron always had a way of making white black and black white. He's good at that. I mean, you saw him. He did that here. Objection. Overruled. Did you ever try and quit the escort business? Yes, several times. I wanted out so badly. But Ron convinced me that the truth would only hurt me and my family. He said if I quit, he would hurt my mother. Did you go to Ronald Tamlin's house on March 23rd, 1995, with the intention of shooting him? No. But you admit you shot him? Yes. Where did you get the gun? It, it was Ron's. He tried to rape me. He put the gun to my head, and I thought that he was going to kill me. Why didn't you come forward and tell the truth at the beginning? Because I didn't want to hurt my mom. She... She is the most important person. All I wanted is for her to love me. I 
just wanted to live up to what she expected of me. I couldn't let her find out the truth. But I... I finally realized that the truth was the only way to break free of the hold that Ron had on me. I messed up so badly. I'm so sorry I let you down, Mom. I love you so much. Madam Forewoman, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. The defendant will rise and face the jury. On the first count of attempted homicide, how do you find for the defendant? On the first count of attempted homicide, we, the jury, find the defendant, Joanna Halbert, not guilty. Oh, oh. On the second count of assault in the first degree, how do you find? On the second count of assault in the first degree, we, the jury, find the defendant, Joanna Halbert, not guilty. Thank you. Thank you. We did it. Oh, you did it. You were wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks. much. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for helping me face the truth. And myself. You give lawyers a good name. You did it, Joanna. You said the truth, and the jury saw that. 